Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to make this beanie. It's a slouchy beanie and I hope you like this uh, stitch. I think it's so nice. And I use this yarn is Kartopu Punto Kids. Um, it's size 3 yarn, I think. One of them is 290 meters. I use a little less than uh, one ball of yarn. And it recommends three uh, size three crochet hook, but I use 4.5 and 5 millimeter crochet hooks. 4.5 for here and 5 for here. Uh, if you have any question about this tutorial, uh, please leave comments below. Uh, I try to answer all the questions. And if you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's start. I made the ribbing. Now I will show you how to make this. Uh, start with 90 chains. Uh, it must be multiples of 10. I use size 3 yarn. If you are using size 4 yarn versus 8 yarn, you can start with 70 chain for women uh, and 80 chain for men. And uh, I will show you with a little sample now. Start with a slip knot. I will ch make a 30 chain. I think that will be enough. It's 13. Try not to twist this chains and join from the first chain up to yarn, make a slip stitch. Chain one or two, yes, chain two. <laughs> it's uh, will be easier like that. And uh, turn your chains. We will use this back loops because I want it look like that. Yarn over and you see that's the first back loop. Don't miss it because this chain two doesn't count as a stitch. We will make a double crochet here. Wrap the yarn and pull it. Yarn over, pull it through from two loops. Yarn over and pull it through from second two loops. And the next one. Use these back loops and make your double crochets for how many chains you have. I'll see you at the end. I complete 30 uh, double crochet and join from this first stitch here. Not into that chain two, into that first stitch. And make a slip stitch. Chain two again. Now we will make front post and back post double crochets. Yarn over. Insert your hook around this double crochet. That's the first double crochet. Like that. Yarn over, pull it and make a double crochet. That's a front post double crochet. Now we will make the back post. Insert your hook from back to front here and around this double crochet back again 
scrap the yarn, make a double crochet. We will make front post now. Insert your hook from front to back and around this double crochet front again. Make a double crochet and a back post, back to front and back. Make a double crochet. Put one front post double crochet, then one back post double crochet. Front post and back post. Finish this row like that. And my last back post, I start with started with a front post and finished with back post and join from this first stitch again chain two and you see this is for front post and i will make a front post double crochet here now and that's back post Just put a front post double crochet for front post double crochet and back post for back post. And, uh, and keep repeating this pattern uh, for seven rows. I made it for seven rows. You can make it longer, shorter. It's up to you. And when you finish, we will directly start to make our stitch with chain 2. Insert into that first stitch, make a double crochet. Into the next one, make a double. This time we are making regular double crochets into the stitches. One, two, three, uh, this is not a stitch. Four and five. I made five double crochet. Yarn over twice. We will make treble crochets now. You see, that's the first double crochet, second and third. Into that third, double crochet stitch, insert your hook, grab the yarn, I have four loops, yarn over and pull it through from first two, yarn over, pull it through from second two, yarn over and pull it through from last two stitch, chain three, one, two, three, Yarn over twice and into that very same space here. Make one more treble. One, two, three. Skip two into that third stitch. Make a double crochet and make four more double crochet next to it three four totally it's five double crochet now i will make these trebles again yarn over twice skip two into the third one one two three chain three yarn over twice insert into the same stitch one two three skip two into that third stitch start to make double crochets one two 
three, four, and five. So this are repeat here this part five double crochet treble in the third stitch three chain and one more treble just repeat this uh, pattern for all the row then I'll see you I'm making the last V by the way I changed the crochet hook I'm working with five millimeter uh, I remade uh, this row with five millimeter crochet hook because it will look uh, good like that I want to make here a little more um, loosey than here join from this first stitch chain two into the same stitch make a double crochet and make your four double crochet next to it now we will make puff stitch into that three chain space yarn over insert here grab the yarn and pull it yarn over insert here and grab the yarn again yarn over insert grab the yarn and I will make it one more time it's totally four time you can make it five if you want to make bigger uh, puffs grab the yarn and pull it through from all these stitches include this one too and make a chain but don't make it too tight make it as loosey as, uh, as loosey as you can okay I will make one more one two three four oops I will make it again one two three and four close it with a chain and make it one more time one two three four I made three puff stitches here then here I will make my five double crochet one two three four and five I'll show you again yarn over insert here one two three and four make another one two three and four and make one more two three and four make five double crochet that's our repeat go ahead and finish this row like that and that's the last one I will join from here and chain two 
Now we will uh, repeat this row, but uh, we will not make our V here now. We will make it here. Yarn over twice, skip two, count this one, two, one, two, into that third stitch, into that middle double crochet, make a treble, chain three, and treble again, and here we will make double crochets. I will make the first one into here. One, two, you can directly go into that stitch too if you want. Three, four, and five double crochet. Yarn over twice, skip two into the third one, make a treble, chain three, and a treble and make five double crochet again here. We have five stitches here, you see? That's the first one, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Repeat here and go ahead complete this row. I made my last five double crochet and join from here. Chain two again and make past this now. One, two, three, four. First one. Second, and last one. Make five double crochet. And three puff stitches. Repeat this four row again and again. Uh, I will totally make it for more than eight inch long. Um, measure it from here and make it almost eight and a half inch, maybe a little more than eight inch. Uh, then we will close this head. Uh, I'll see you when I complete it. I made it nine inches long. Uh, it's a little long, but I want to make it uh, slouchy. I think it will look good like that. Uh, you can make it a little shorter if you want. I will use 4.5 millimeter crochet hook again from now on. chain two uh, we will make uh, a big V here if we keep uh, repeating the same pattern but now uh, we will make double crochets here we will put one double crochet for every stitch we have I made five double crochet and starting from here put five double crochet again one two 
three, four, and five. Again, put five double crochet. And like that, turn around your head and uh, you will have uh, 19 double crochets at the end. I made the last five and join from here. Chain two. Now we will make front post and back post double crochets. I will start with front post. Then I will make back post, but I will make it like that. I will take these two double crochet together. I will go around these two, make a back post, make a front post here, and make the same thing. Take these two and a back post double crochet front post take two a back post repeat the same thing make one uh, front post with one double crochet and one back post with two double crochet finish this row like that uh, I'm almost at the end I have three stitches left and I have 30 front post double crochet uh, I will make this last three together and join from here chain two now I will make two front posts together yarn over Insert around this front post double crochet, yarn over and pull it through from two loops and leave it like that. Don't complete it. Yarn over again into the next one. Make the same thing. I have three loops. Yarn over and pull it through from all these loops. I made two front posts together, then a back post double crochet. Again, two front posts together. That's one. Skip this back post double crochet into the next front post. Make a half, complete together. And make a back post double crochet. Make it again, one, two, finish together, make a back post. Go ahead and finish this row like that. I made my last back post double crochet and join from here. Chain two, I'll make the same thing again. That's one front post double crochet now. Make half of a front post double crochet. Skip this one and make the other half finish together. Make a back post double crochet here. Make a half, skip it. Make one more. Completed. Make a back post. For this row, we would uh, repeat this and uh, complete this row. And now I made the last row. Chain two. I will make front post and back post double crochets. You see, that's the first one. Make a front post, make a back post, make a front post around this, then make a back post double crochet, make a 
make a front post and back post finish this row like that that's the last back post double crochet join from here chain one for the secure and cut the yarn Take a yarn needle and we will close here. I will make it from inside like that. That's the wrong side of my work. And that's it. Cut the yarn. It's ready to use. And that's it. I don't want to use a pom pom with that because it looks nice like that. When you wear it, it's so slouchy. It looks so good. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Since crochet is my Instagram and my Pinterest address, you can reach me there too. And thanks for watching me. Uh, that's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.